Hello everyone. This video would focus on reflection across the x-axis or y-axis and this is the second part. I will put the link of the first part in the description box below. In this part, the image and the pre-image are overlapping. Now, before we move on to some examples here, let's have a definition for reflection. We remember that the other word for reflection is flip. By definition, reflection is a transformation where a figure is flipped across the line, which is called the line of reflection. There are some terms that we need to remember as well. As we go through some examples, we have the word pre-image. Pre-image means the original picture, and the word image means it's the new or the transformed picture. So let's have the first example right here. Graph the image of the given pre-image below using the transformation given. So we are supposed to have a reflection across the x-axis. Now we remember that if we say reflection across the x-axis, one figure is above the x-axis and the other figure is below the x-axis or pretty much we are reflecting it up and down. So in this problem that we have here, we are given this pre-image, that's the original picture right there. Now we are supposed to flip this original picture. So I created a triangle that matches up with uh, the given pre-image. So it says that when we say reflection across the x-axis, we are going to flip this triangle across the x-axis. So we're going to flip it across the x-axis. So flip this. And um, that would be the image right here. So we flipped it and this is where the image is going to sit after we flip it. So um, we can go ahead and mark the uh, vertices of the triangle here. So this is the first vertex and that matches up to C. So since this is the um, image, we're going to mark this as C prime. And then this part right here, the B is going to match up here. So this will be our B prime. And then we also have our A here. This is the vertex A. We will name this as our A prime. So if we connect the triangle here, this is our image. We remember again, when we say image, that is the new transformed picture. So as you can see here, this triangle was flipped across the x-axis, so the uh, reflection is up and down. Now, please notice that the distance between the two corresponding vertices and or points from the line of reflection is the same or equal, which means that this is our line of reflection. So we have uh, the distance of C from the line of reflection is 1, 2. That means that the distance of C prime should be 2 as well, 1, 2. So they are um, equal. Now let's check on vertic vertex A. So the distance from the line of reflection is 1, 2, 3, 4. Our A prime should also be 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So the distance between A and A prime from the line of reflection is equal. Now let's see the B and the B prime. So that would be 1, 2, 3. Then we go 1, 2, 3 down. Because remember, it is on the opposite side. So these are the vertices for the image. So again, we uh, name this as our pre-image. Again, pre-image means that's the original um, picture. And this is the red one right here is our image. Again, we remember that image is the new or the transformed um, picture. Now let's have here the coordinates for the image. Okay, so looking at this, our A prime is sitting at 4, negative 4. So I'm going to write here 4, negative 4. And our B prime is sitting at negative 1, th negative 3. So that's negative 1, negative 3. And then our C prime is sitting at 6, 2. So that's going to be 6, 2 right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. 
So we go over the problem here. So we're supposed to graph the image of the given pre-image. So this is the pre-image right here using the transformation given. So we're supposed to do a reflection across the y-axis. Now we remember that if we say reflection across the y-axis, one figure is on the left side of the y-axis, while the other figure is on the right side of the y-axis. So pretty much reflection across the y-axis means reflection side to side. So we remember that the distance between two corresponding points or vertices from the line of reflection is the same or equal, and that is reflection. So we go ahead and say that if the distance from the line of reflection, which is y for vertex A is 2, 1, 2, then we go to the right 2 across 1, 2. So we will name this as our A prime. Now let's have our B prime. So the B is from the Y axis. It's located one, two, three, four units left. So we go the opposite. So four to the right, one, two, three, four. So this will be vertex B prime. And then for our C, one, two, three, three to the right. That means we go the opposite way. It's gonna be on the left. So three on the left, one, two, three. And so this is our C prime. And so we can go ahead and connect these dots together to create the image. And so this is our image right here. Again, we remember that the original picture is called the pre-image. So I'm just gonna label that um, down here. And then this uh, red picture that we have here is our image or the transformed figure so that we can go ahead and test this so we are given the original picture that um, looks like this and so we are supposed to flip it across the y-axis or reflect it across the y-axis so we're gonna flip it across so flipping this across the y-axis and that's where it sits so then we go ahead and say that our image is correctly drawn. Now let's look at the vertices of the image here. Okay, so our A prime is located on 2, 4. So I'm going to write 2, 4 right here. And then our B prime is located on 4, negative 2. So that's 4, negative 2. And our C prime is located on negative 3, negative 4. Negative 3 and negative 4. That's it. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.